Greetings from glorious BC, where we're getting set for a battle for the summit. Lineups for this promising game. Big changes for Pacific FC. Five from the team that played in Ottawa on Wednesday. Emil Gazdorf back in goal. And interestingly, in goal, a debut for Czech-born Canadian Jasim Kalelat of Forge FC. Hoping the Hammers can do what they did last time. Possibilities here. Zanata in the middle. If it can be found. Going for goal. Once a Pacific, the man who once scored the CPL Championship winner against Forge in 2021. This is Schwanier, but Arun will go for goal. Off the woodwork. Not sure that Gazdorf got a touch on it. But Schwanier, his eyes lit up as he saw the goal gaping, Jim. Poku picks it up. Inside one. For Schwanier again. Duncan's making himself available on the overlap. Schwanier comes inside, goes for goal. Comfortable enough for Gazdorf. Only as far as his opposite number in terms of centre back and Dom. And Dom just rolling forward. That's clever. He's found Zanata. Play will go on. Zanata needed the big save. And Kalilat called into action away to his left. Parries it round for a corner. He's been a spectator for the last 20 minutes, Kalilat. And might need to act again here. Does. Forceful punch it and get all the way back to Turkovanu. Different action, and this time Kalelat gets enough on it to parry it over the top with a little bit of help from the crossbar. It's another corner, and suddenly the spotlight's all on the Forge goalkeeper. Whipped it in well. Kalela in that left back position brings such quality. Composure on the ball, likes to get forward, defends well. Poku needed a smart diving save from Gazdorf. See what he was trying to do inside of the instep, trying to curl it left footed into the top corner. And Gastoff just got his fingertips on it. Forward. This is Yates. And Turku Vanu wants it on his left foot. Chips it across. Interesting. Josh Hurd was that a handball. Scott Bowman waves away the protests. It'll only be a throw on that far side. There could have been a <laughs> another look. Referee doesn't get the benefit. Of a video replay, does it come off Duncan's hand? Yeah. It was a handball. Mm. Look, hits his arm right there. So Parra will take the throw for Forge. Was he fouled? He wasn't. Referee's going to let it go. Young. Disappointing from Sean Young. To encourage the Tridents to find that opening goal. Delivered by Yates into the mixer, it goes! And Kalela stood his ground. He's never going to give up, so if you're the left back, you better go right with him, as you rightly said, Jim. Para did. Can they get something from the corner? Keeper stayed at home. It's going to be another corner, and Mir Jaguer. Samuel for Barry Banger, who's now come over to the left hand side. That's where we're more used to seeing him performing. That's a decent ball for Para. Across the face of goal, back up. Oh, just wide. Tried to fool everybody. He's going to have that taken again. Oh dear, oh dear. Referee's going to go to his. It's a red card. Rion Moore, I believe. It's a red card for the Pacific striker. Dropped the ball, wasted some time. Oh, not like that. Referee has seen enough, and this time Mr. Bowman does blow his final whistle. It ends a point apiece between Pacific FC and Forge FC. It's enough to take Pacific to the top of the CPL standings, and yet another clean sheet for Emil Gazdorf and the Tridents.